Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Milk Lover, and thank you for joining me here in Victoria 2 playing as the Russian Empire, the greatest power in the world. Now, uh, let's start off by addressing a few comments. America is quite literally the only nation that could really push me out of great power status, but right now our score is a little less than double theirs, mostly due to prestige. They still have a bigger industrial base, even though their military definitely is not as big as mine regarding soldiers or capital ships. That being said, I really don't care about taking out America. I really don't. I mean, we're not, I guess we are not allied. I thought we were. I'm not really interested in taking them out. I mean, at this point, I'm the master of Europe. Not so much Asia, but to a degree, sort of Asia. Africa, not so much, but <clears throat> if I could get control or, you know, assert power across Europe, I'll just leave, you know, North America and South America to the Americans. I mean, I really have no interest in taking them out. That would be cool to do, but I don't know. I'm not really feeling taking out taking out America. I mean, I don't mind taking out Canada because I'd like to get Alaska, but uh, yeah, yeah. But United States, mm, I don't know. I mean, if I could go to war with them with like a lot of great powers, but we already killed off all the great powers. That's probably a better thing to do early on. Dismantle America before we kill off all your potential allies. <laughs> Even though right now, Austria is allied with us. And Germany is also allied with us. You know, I thought we were sort of waiting for the finishing touches of the dismantling of Germany. But maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe we're already done. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. We're not done yet. We're not done yet with the dismantling of Germany. Really, my last goal is to take out France. Because besides America, who I'm not going to really touch because I don't feel like it, Russian-American relations can still be okay. But um, France is the last one we haven't really killed. Now, you might say Italy isn't... A country we haven't really touched either but that's mostly because they're not that great already like they're they're a little they're lower than Japan they're in sixth place Sweden yeah you can make the case for that as well but both of these guys are not that strong they're really not that strong even Germany when being defeated isn't super far behind Italy so also we have a lot of rebels here <laughs> that's a lot of rebels uh, go ahead and combine these guys see what happens we need to take off one horse one, two... Uh, do we have any engineers? No. Oh, man. A lot of these people have fascist tendencies. Ooh! That's not good. Uh, for now, go ahead and raise this up, just in case. And we need to get rid of another infantry. Oh, we already have another artillery. Oh. Well, that's alright. That's all whatever. Cool. You're looking great. I want you to kill them off. Put down that rabble. Tensions and pins? Of course not. But yeah, I really don't feel like taking out America. Just, let's see. Craftsmen, a lot of unemployed people in Russian Ostpreisen, which someone did tell me in the comments yesterday, is a real place in Russia. It's still owned by Russia. It's an enclave called Kaliningrad, and I already knew that. But it's Kaliningrad, yeah, I should have taken more of East Prussia. But then even then, like, West Prussia, it's over there too, just... This is so disgusting. I'm sorry for the border court still, but... Uh, yeah, I mean... Königsberg. Well, it used to be known as the great city of Königsberg was owned by them. But let's take a good look here. We need to make sure we have enough ships for us to actually do battle with the Frenchy French. Actually, do we have any ports? Or I... Oh, I didn't do any port stuff. Whatever. It really doesn't matter at this point, ports. Um, I'm thinking. Do we have... A place where all these ships want to gather around. I hope not. Because I would like to make my ships bigger and be able to transport more ships. Why are you down here? There's 50... F oh, you're a normal fleet down here. I'm going to keep you down here just because... Yeah. That's a good thing to do. Cool. Naval map mode. Another army down there. That's great. Let's see. Ooh, oh, yeah, I forgot about Bur Burma. Yeah, I own Burma. I keep forgetting about them. Let's let time go on a little bit more. That's good, good, good. Hopefully, if I go to war with France, Germany should go to war with them as well. Hopefully, Italy. Hopefully, what do we need here? Oh, we got a lot. Give me a horse and, like, seven artillery. Yeah. Let's see. Do that. Give me a horse. Oh, Russian guards. That's nice. Horse and 
Oh, wait, did it? I can't even think right now. Can't even think. Seven artillery. One, two, five, six, and we're out. All right. Cool. Keep doing it, guys. You're doing a great job with Italian Vietnam. Hmm. Hmm. That is. That's with fascist soup kitchens. Uh, sure. Why not? Who cares? Then, oh, wow, that's just pretty divided here. Russian, Min, South Han, North Han. I can build ships even faster now. Great. I think this lead looks pretty good. 61's already pretty good. Um, yeah, no, that's good. That's good. That's really good then. Because I need more troop transports here. So we need like six troop transports. Ooh. Six troop transports and then... Oh. Okay, cool. Awesome. You guys looking pretty okay. Maybe another dreadnought. Maybe one more. Because I just gotta make sure our navy's huge for the fleet that we're probably going to fight against the French. And I guess make a few more troop ships. That's fine. Those are the main three fleets that we have. Let's get some more research going. We're done with our army techs, which is amazing. We could raise our naval levels, which is okay. I just really need more uh, supply throughput. I think. That's supply range. Main armament. Hmm. Oh, we're, oh our naval port. Oh, yeah, let's do that then. Let's get more naval ports then. That'll be good. Army over here. Make no distinction of class. Of course. Of course. Why would we make a distinction of class? Wow, there's a lot of fascists in the army. Hmm. Are you guys. Oh, we need an infantry. It's fine. Pull off one infantry for Mikhail. Good. And you guys need what? Three infantry. Wow. Three more infantry. You guys are horses. Great. Continue letting time go on. We have a, a very good litter population. It's 1924. In a span of about less than 100 years, we've got raised our literacy over 90%. Or 90-ish percentage. It makes us look better if we say over 90%. You guys need a horse. And luckily, I've got just enough horses for you. Romania still dealing with fascism. Uh, is it you guys that need a horse? Yeah. Great. Oh, look, reforms. Because that's a lot of consciousness. Holy cow. What? Why do you have so much consciousness? Why do you want to vote? Voting doesn't mean anything, man. Service by requirement, immigrant attraction, education efficiency... How about immigrant ruling party support? Wow, that's a huge chunk of socialism there. Um, rich vote. You know what? Let's just do it for now. People can vote if they really want to. Oh, the voter ideology is so much better than the people's ideologies. Oof. Makes sense though. Makes sense. Cool. So these guys are looking pretty good. Pretty good. I'm probably gonna lose them almost immediately if we go to war with France. You know, whatever. Can I justify on them yet? Well, let's decrease relations first. Japan's looking amazing. Looking pretty awesome. USA, Chile, Costa Rica, Ecuador. We have Austria. That's Afghanistan, yeah. Can I... No, we gotta wait for the treaty still. So that's why I'm just gonna let time go on a little bit more and more and more and more and more. Cool. What do you guys need? An infantry. Brigade. Great. If I can, I'll continue making a bigger army. Good. What can we do? Bavaria. Oh, Bavaria. Yeah, heck yeah, Bavaria. You have an amazing flag. I love that flag. Oh, well, I guess... I guess that would explain it. I didn't realize they were, um... Fascist. Oh, we get a core. Great. Let's see. So we need, like, six artillery and seven infantry. Six artillery. Probably not African artillery. Six and seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There you go. Do what you need to do. We can probably get take that one off. Thank you very much. Let time go on. Limited constitution. Oh, constitutionalism. 
Political reforms enacted in the past few years have led to a situation where the absolutism of a monarchy can now legitimately be called into question. No longer is the free king free to dictate the course of the nation to his own musings, but instead he has to accept several constitutional hems and restrictions on his excise of power. For these reasons, our government no form is no longer most accurately described as an absolute monarchy, which is, you know, okay, you know, whatever, you know, whatever. You can get some elections if you want it. Manifesto on Unshakable Autocracy was published by Tsar Alexander III on the 29th of April, 1881. Approximately two months after his father, Alexander II, was assassinated by Nik Nikolai Ryasikov of the Volia Terrorist Organization. The manifesto strongly rejected any ideas of liberal reform, many of them his father's own, instead arguing in favor of the traditional, unshakable autocracy of Russia. Hold on now, hold on. Now we can afford that infamy. No voting. Um... I mean, I like the prestige. We don't need any more prestige. Oh, you know what? I'm trying to not get the people to completely rebel all the time. Now, they're going to keep demanding more and more and more until we're, you know, completely, you know, socialist or whatever. Are these, yeah. Workers' unions denounce the profiteering of these fat cats. Everyday needs for poor strata. I kind of like that. You know, it hurts us a little bit, but you know what? That's okay. We're making a lot of bank anyways. Even with this high. Nice. Oh, what's going on? Oh, cool. Got more. Oh, great. Naval stuff. These people need ships. Uh, is that steamers? Okay, at least it's not clipper convoys. Colonial education policy. Better compre. Oh, we believe resources could be spent better than someone else. Eh, enact a more comprehensive education policy. Man, our population is looking pretty good. Look how much that dropped of consciousness for now. <clears throat> Let's keep going up. Oh, who has rebels? Rem oh, re what the? When does Romania not have rebels? Black flags, an interesting development. Oh God, to fuse some of this enthusiasm into more palatable forms. Yeah, Russian patriots, we must be your brethren. Yeah, it's fine, whatever. Under and thought, watch out, under is going to come at you. Keep increasing relations with these guys, even though Germany we still want to beat. Well, we beat you up pretty badly. They're still seventh in the military now, sixth in the world for industry. That's not bad. Japan's looking amazing. British Commonwealth. I'm allied with so many people that ideologically don't make sense for us. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, God, this stuff. Pomerelia. Just, just let time go on for now. Poznan. Bohem oh, Bohemian Moravia. Bavaria. Love it. Great. Uh, and if they don't vote for the right faction party, I'm going to make sure that we do what they do. Definitely doesn't matter, I really don't care about that stuff. Even though it's probably important to read. I guess for now, instead, instead of doing conservative stuff... Oh my god, over half of them are socialists. Conservative and reactionary, good, good. I guess we can go to reaction. Oh, well, we could do fascist. Fascist rush just sounds really weird, though. Temporary house majority. Fortune favors the bold, now's not the time. I don't like trinket subsidies. I really don't like trinket subsidies. Uh, let's go to reforms. Or politics. Subsidies, huh? Unemployment benefits. Hmm. You know what? I never choose this. I'm going to choose it because why not? I could do that, but I'm going to do it like this. You can have a little subsidies. Not very much, just a little bit. And let's go with that. Nice. Uh, Egypt. Uh, sure, why not? Oh, what's going on here? New Zealand... New Zealand is free. Huh. Didn't realize that. I probably have Milton Socialist somewhere, but I'm not really paying attention to it too much. Cool. Build all this stuff out. I wish... There was a button where you could just like click and all, everything would be built. That'd be kind of nice. The, but that was the comment from yesterday, seeing like how badly the Great War just destroys people and economy and lives. Like just to see the raw numbers of how many people actually died in, the, in any conflict. There might be a way to see that. I'm not really sure at the time of this recording. So if you know, please let me know in the comments below. Let's see. Go ahead and do that. Wow, people are really leaving Königsberg, Kaliningrad. You know, whatever. I don't think it'd be called Kaliningrad yet. It'd just still be called Königsberg. 
Which, you know what? We can send the Baltic Germans there if we want to. I think it'd be kind of cool. Cool, cool. Very nice, very nice. Let's see, no one likes to be... Oh, actually, we got more cons reactionaries in the upper house than conservatives. Interesting. Oh, hold on. We got a little thingy up there. Oh, I have an army up there, too. What do we got? Fusion land. Great, welcome to the country club. Well, I suppose it's not really a country club, but whatever. Open hearth furnace. Sure, yeah, why not? African farms and mines. Yes. Good, let's do it again. Bigger farms, bigger mines, bigger profits. Um, cool. More organization is always good for the Navy. Kaboom! Anything else up here? I don't think so. Anything around here? Ah, oh, yeah, Burma. More output. Great. Actually, is that one of our top exported goods? No, that's one of our imported goods is coal. Which is good that we're doing it like this, then. Finally, we're getting more coal. <laughs> ah, for most of our Taiwan. Oh, yeah, these Chinese provinces. Good, good, good. I know I could do stuff with my thingy up there. Coal production? Oh, great. Oh, Bavaria. My friends in Bavaria. My National Socialist friends in Bavaria. Oh, this is weird. This is weird. Oh, reforms. Wow, people really still have a lot of militancy and not good feelings towards us. Why? Why? Oh, cultural rights? Let's see. All cultures... No, not all cultures can vote. I'm sorry. Do you really... You guys really want a low minimum wage. But that means we I can't pay people what they're worth. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm drinking some of this Russian coffee. It went down the sort of the wrong hole. They don't even care about ch making child labor illegal. Hmm. Restricted. You know what? We're going to be reformist here. I don't think children should be working here for now. Maybe in the future we can have child labor and do it again. But for now, I'm feeling like nah. Cool. Even more output. Great. Our top ex imported goods are still coal. Uh, Pomerelia, sure, that's fine. Alright, I think we got all the ports done. Or they're all under Q, which is good. All right, let's attempt to go on. I built up another army just in case things go really badly for us. I'm going to probably keep it down here. Great. Even more output. Uh, that looks really good. Steel production. Let's get some steam turbines. And let's build up another army. Even though we don't have planes yet, which really sucks, but whatever. Um, oh. Uh... Sure, it seems like I'm probably going to break that alliance eventually, but whatever. Near east. Let's grab four. One, two, three, four. And I'll grab two of you guys. Why not? Two, and then eight. Uh, if you need someone down there, just go. Do I have a do that? Why not? It's fine. Still making plenty of money, though. Plenty of money. Osprey awesome. looking pretty great. Heavy artillery? Great. 1926. When can we go to war with France? Oh, anytime. Cool. So this is this is gonna be really dangerous. So my military score is 2,400. Their military score is 800 some. And do they not have an army? They have capital ships, but like no army. Holy crap! Oh, that's gonna be good. Let's go to get humiliate. I think. Or we liberate. You know what? We've got the infamy for it. We're gonna liberate them. We're gonna liberate someone. Now, this is probably the last country in this campaign that we're going to take out. I'm sorry if you want me to take out America, but... Like I said, I don't really feel like it. So, we'll see what happens. If they have, like, no army... Oh, they're just going to be smacked down easily. We could take out Luxembourg, Portugal, Belgium, and Norway. Uh, Sweden, would you, would you like an alliance? Cool, and we just did that. Great. Combu uh, why have I not gotten the combustion engine yet? What is wrong with me? Cool. Drain the Pinsk marshes. So they would cover more than 269, 400 kilometer square 
area surrounding the sandy lowlands of the dense network of rivers and rivets, rivulets forming on both sides of the Pripyat River, of course, which is one of the main tributaries of the Dnieper. The marshes undergo substantial changes in size during the year, <clears throat> with melting snows in springtime and autumn rainfall causing extensive flooding as the river overflows. As in most wetlands in Europe, the Pinsk marshes are seen as an unhealthy area, a focus of maladies. <laughs> Historically, during most of the year, the marshes are virtually impossible or impassable to major military forces, thus influencing strategic planning of all military operations in the region. Uh, yeah, definitely do that. I still haven't done Return to Third Realm, which is fine, whatever, I don't really care. Mechanism, oh yeah. <clears throat> oh, and cost of six infamy, you know what, that's okay. Uh, before we do anything else, can we get America to fight the French for us? I think that'd be great. Or, I'd be very surprised if Germany does not want to fight the French. But I'm going to need Germany to jo join with me so we can kill them off. I think the British will probably want to go to war. We're allied with the Germans, which is great. They will accept. Awesome. There's a new store in town. Awesome. Flags burn in Allen Islands. Assimilation must continue. Assimilate or die. Diplomatic value. Nice. Very cool. Let's see how far award justification is going. We're almost there. And by February of next year, we will go to war with them. Great, yes. Good. Look at all that money we're making. Holy cow. You know what? Keep people happy. Now oh, I got a few rebels here. Whatever. Put them down. Put them down. Look at this. Chad. Awesome. I completely forgot about national focuses. But something tells me I really don't have to care about them too much. Great. Cistern explodes. A fuel cistern in one of our refineries exploded today for some reason yet unknown, and the lives of seven workers were claimed in the ensuing a conflagration, along with the thousands of dollars worth in company property. The refinery owner has washed his hands of any responsibility for the accident, claiming instead the government safety inspections have been lacking. Well, hold on. If you weren't making sure that these were safe, why'd you let it explode? So, be just help them out. You piece of garbage business owner. Why are you blaming us? You're the one operating the machine. Am I responsible for you? You can't be responsible for yourself? Look at words. That looks beautiful. Oh, you silly little nationalists. Look at power generation. Oh, yeah. Look at all this money we're making now. Ooh, look at that army. Uh, I'm going to keep you in the back, just in case things get really bad. So I'm going to put you, like... Uh, sorry, it's right there. Uh, I'll put you, like, right here. Just so that you can focus on that. Because when we go to war, I don't want to have to deal with that later on. Cool. America, please uh, ally with me. America, why? Let's see. If we want to go to war with France... Let's say we are liberators. Wow, we could liberate a lot of people. But I can't liberate like Catalonia. Oh, there's Catalonia. Ivory Coast, Corsica, Elsass, Basque Country. Hmm. A lot of these aren't great to liberate. Oh, let's double check down here. So, Catalonia. Let's go by region. It's right here. But, hmm. Actually, Spain, would you like an alliance? Uh, we can increase relations for now. That's fine. Where do we take out? If we wanted to liberate a country. I'm not really sure. Elsa also would sound, seems like a good idea. And I, I, I will see who wants to, you know, ally with me once we're done. Okay, that's not really worth it right there. Hmm... We could do Elsass, but that might go to Germany eventually. I really don't know. You know what? Let's talk about the Africans. Why not? Niger? So, primarily, the German states will go to... So, primarily, Poznan, 
Netherlands, Bohemia, Moravia, Switzerland will not, Bulgaria, Greece, Yugoslavia, Egypt, Morocco, Persia, India will not, Australia will, the British won't, but the Germans will, the Austrians won't, but the Italians will. Interesting. Uh, you know what? We have a little bit of time. We're going to think about this since we still need to raise our army's uh, uh, abilities. Ooh. Oh, god dang it. Why'd you do that, man? I can... Oh, now I can get... Fact, armor? I can get armor now? Uh, I don't think I'm really going to get involved in this war. If this makes Germany any stronger... You know what? That's fine with me. They're still a great power. And if they're even more of a great power before we go to war with France, so be it. Oh my god. What just happened? R the fascists have riven risen up. Wow, this is... so oh, crazy. I think we have until February, so the war should be over by then. Austria, you might lose the Sudan land here. Oh, what happened here? Why do you have... Oh, you're missing... Why are we missing so many people? Oh my god, we're missing so many people here. God dang it. Ugh. You know what? These guys will still be good enough to fight the, the, uh, the French, probably. Cool, let's go ahead and start raising our uh, budget. Budget stuff. Cool. Hi, hi, hi. We're still making enough bank. Lockout. That's unconstitutional now. Even though... I guess we have a constitution. I want Germany to finish this up first. Before we go to war. Come on, Germany. Good, 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 good. Let them go home first. And let's start moving some of our soldiers into... On the border here. Oh, do we have military access through Germany? We could probably use that. No, we have military access. Oh, no, I need military access to you guys. Yeah, I, I, I have a good feeling that they'll probably accept. Nice. Cool. Come up there as well. We'll probably have to go to war with Belgium. Let's see. Yeah, people really want to leave Germany. <clears throat> Especially Russia, but you know, whatever. Karlsruhe. Saarbrücken. See, Germany, we're coming here to help defend against the French menace. I'm going to leave those guys there. They're not that strong. Um, yeah. Oipen. Something like that. Cool. Uh, you can come down here to help out in the forest, probably. Forest peoples. Cool. You guys come down, too. That should probably be it for all that we really need. I mean, yeah, Belgium has a... Hmm. How many ships they got? I want to see. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, soldiers and armies, almost nothing. Bavaria. Alright. Giving it a good while before we go to war with these guys. We should do fairly well. Even though our fleet... I think it's still lacking a little bit. But everyone's coming to the Dogger Bay. Or Bank. Dogger Bank. Because we got one, two, three, four... There's so many places that you need to siege down to blockade them effectively. Oh, no, they have, a, they have an actual army. Well, they have one. It's January, good. They probably have some armor. I don't even have any armor. Uh, let's see. Let's go to war. We have to be at war with Belgium, Portugal, Luxembourg, and Norway, which isn't bad. Let's go ahead and do it, though. We're going to liberate Corsica. Madagascar sounds like fun. We'll get a lot of prestige. If we failed to achieve that goal, that would be very good. Oh, uh, God. All these countries really suck. But you know what? You can't have any German territory. We'll just go with Alsace for funsies. All right, let's call our allies. We'll see what happens. British Commonwealth will not accept, but the Germans will. Great. And let's go ahead and have a good time with them. And see who our real allies are. Yep, there we go. Austria, India, Switzerland. I'm surprised... India does not want to go to war with these guys. They're not going to be that difficult to take out. Especially if India could get more territory. I mean, that only makes sense for them to do that. So actually, do, are we out with the Dutch? Guys? Yeah, you're in war with us. Or you're war with us against them. Great! The Belgians have a bigger army than they do, which is a little odd, but whatever. 
Good. You found some enemy ships. Uh, what type of heavy ships they got? Dreadnoughts and battleships, that makes sense. Cool. Uh, sure, I guess. Why not? Oh, yeah, we're still at war with these guys. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Um, well, okay then. And don't forget about this area down here. Hello. That's a lot of guys. Yeah, that's. Oh, I. No, these are Italian thingies. Huh. Well, that's the case. Austria, hello. Come on, Japan. Well, it's better than not having you attack me, so. Oh, look at that. Nice. Even the Dutch are moving in, which is awesome. We'll move you guys down here. And move you guys probably down here. Good. Well, they have a few divisions here and there. The Belgium, the Belgians are looking pretty big. But if they want to die, then let them die. India, yes. Strategic alliances. Oh, they, oh my god, the Belgians are dying like crazy. And the fascists... God dang it, that's why I left a few armies here. Just in case stuff like this happens. Actually, I left quite a few armies here. Holy cow. Yeah, pull you guys down here, too. Yeah, that's not good. Help those guys out. Oh, the Belgians. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, but yes, yes, yes. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, we're going to attack here, too. That's not good. I help them out down here first. And you help them out right here. Ah, uh, that's such a bad idea, France. That's a bad idea. Oh, my goodness. How many are dying? Nice. Oh, they attacked us right there. Uh, you know what? Help out, then. Help them out right here. See what happens. Oh, we actually lost. Wait, we're... Oh, this might be down in Africa. Yeah, it's in Africa. That really doesn't matter too much, though. Whatever. We lose a little bit of Africa. I mean, it's not like it's worth that much. Well, they want to do that. So be it. Very nice. Smash them. Oh, they're really sieging these guys down. Germany, what are you doing? Where are your armies, man? Uh, I'm okay. We're okay, France. We're really okay. We're really okay. This is going to be probably the last episode of this campaign. We shall be victorious. Give me one of you guys. Help out down here, and then come down here. They're going to need a little bit more help. Yep, we got some technology done. Great. Come up there, too. Uh, make it a little bit more easy like that. Thank you. Naval stuff. Modern training. That sounds like a good idea. You guys. Come on down here. Good. Very nice. How is this doing? Oh, we're doing very good up here. We could go straight for the capital, maybe. Probably not. But it makes it sound like fun. Oh, that's not good. That's a lot of guys. Good, good, good. Enemy of my enemy? Do it. Banat has agreed. Wow. Um, is that it? Is that all who we got? Uh, we are killing off their population. They must have mobilized. Germany, please. Uh, you know what? I've asked you to help before Germany. And you haven't. Which is really disappointing. And it's kind of hard to see if we have any other armies around here. Oh, what are you guys doing? Come on down here, guys. Come on. And I'm going to pull another army off like you. You're looking mighty fine over there, son. Mighty fine. Oh my god, we're just slaughtering so many of them. Are ships engaging anything? No, that's okay. Oh, hello. Who are you? What are you doing there? Uh, for now, come help out. Kill them off. What's the war score like? 52%? That's not bad. That's pretty good. Excellent. Excellente, my friends. Oh, the money, money wise, we're not doing great, but you know what? That's okay. Oh, that's not looking good. Send two armies down that way. 
if you can. So the guy down that way to go there. There you go. Army wise, we're doing okay. That's holy crap, that was destructive. That was incredibly destructive. Oh wait, what are you doing over there? What the heck? Oh, get automobiles. That's cool. Help them out if you can. Cool. Get rid of those guys. You guys help out down here. I just pull into them. Oh god. Look at this army. Just go and retreat if you can. Oh, we're gonna probably lose this army group then. That's fine, whatever. Suppress it. Cool. Would, would it be possible for us to peace out? Oh, people want to fight us some more, huh? They would not accept? Alright, so be it then. We're pulling out more armies then. I wish the Germans would do more, but you know what? If every Frenchman has to die, then so be it. If every Belgian boy has to die, so be it. Are you still at war? They are not. I Wait, you were not in the war originally? Oh, this is a great war. We're fighting Sweden too. Oh my goodness. I did not realize that. Oh, you guys are up here. Oh. Sweden, you have chosen very poorly, my friends. Do you guys want to join? No? God dang it. Uh, I don't think the US were allied with them. Oh, maybe we are. No, we can't call them in. That's fine. So be it. Call it in the German war machine. We'll see what happens. You guys, come on down here. Actually, you guys come down here to help those guys out. You guys come down here to help those guys out. And then you guys don't attack them there, there just yet. Mm hmm. Not bad, not bad. You know, go and get out of the battle first. Because uh, we're calling down more armies. They want to make this into a great war? We shall give them a great war. Two more armies? Good. Now, they're kind of blockading us, which means we are going to have to send one of you guys this way. Just smash them. Good, good ish. Here come the Germans. Yeah, don't attack that stack. That's a lot of guys there. Yeah, no, you're going to die there, boy. Oh, look at how many men we just killed off. Oh, my goodness. Kill them off as fast as possible. Uh, we're going to death stack this. Yeah, we're going to lose a lot of guys there. So be it. Hey, you want to show up? Nope. Oh, actually, that's a lot of guys. That's a lot of guys. Whoops. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah, we lost that battle. Uh, actually, well, that's a battle of war. No one cares about that. Look at these ships. They're going to die. Oh, uh, what do they want? I'll just give them whatever they want for now. Low minimum wage. So be it. I don't want him to rise up against me right now. That would be a very bad thing. Let's grab this real quick. Great. Kill him off. Nope. More armies? Sure. Oh, look at that. We actually lost quite a few ships, but it looks like our allies lost quite a few ships too. If that's the case, you guys are looking pretty sort of weakish. I'm going to pull you back to repair for now. I'm going to pull you guys off to help kill off this fleet, too. I have to pull this up us out. That's fine for me. Fine with me. You know what? If we need to. Pull these guys off, too. Sweden, I really don't want to go to war with you, but you know what? You forced my hand. I would love to see how many men have died so far. <clears throat> Can't believe we're at war with Ireland. What is Ireland going to get out of this? Nothing. But you know what? They ain't gonna get anything out of this war. Stop doing that. Uh, the Germans aren't winning there, unfortunately. Good. Oh! Where the heck is that? Oh. Whatever. Africa really doesn't mean much of anything for us. What really matters is Europe. Good, good. Smash them to bits. 
Help out, destroy those Belgians. Look at all these armies. Look at these guys. Look at this death stack. Kill them off. Oh, the Germans are invading Belgium. Where have I seen that before? Good. They wanted a total war. We give them a total war. Ah, uh, Russia and France helping each other out. What's more beautiful than that? Where'd the fleet go? Nope, you're not leaving. Mm -mm. Help out, help out. Good. Um, you know what? Help him out here. Look at that. 70,000 versus 33,000. Beautiful. Good. Help him out down there. I'm going to send groups up here to help out Luxembourg. Great. And we're still losing. Colonial policy debated. Yeah, it'd be a little more conservative for now. Alright, pull when you guys back up there. Good. Good. Ooh. Bloody strikes. Cool. Let's pause it real quick. We gotta make sure that we're winning everywhere that we possibly can. Pull one of you guys help out down here as well, and pull one of you guys help out over here. If we can. Nice. Oh, Germany's just destroying Belgium right now. That's amazing. That's awesome to see. That's really, really good to see. We're going to be losing hundreds of thousands of men, if not already. So, it is what it is. You guys, both of you come here. I don't know why... You know... This, oh, we lost a lot of guys. But, you know what? That makes sense for throwing just so many guys into the battle. <sighs> Kill them off if you can. Good, we won up there. Great. Oh, you know what? We're going for Paris. I'm going straight for Paris. And then I'm going to eventually go for uh, Sweden. Sweden, you're going to have to die, son. You chose to invade me? You want Finland so bad that you chose to die? So be it. So be it. Ooh. Help him out. Help him out. Oh, we lost. That uh, sounds like an African province. 30,000. 120,000 Frenchmen just died. Oh, Sweden, my son. You're going to come up here to St. Petersburg, or close to it. Look at that. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Mm, good. Sending armies to Sweden. Nice. The battle for Luxembourg is still raging on. Oh my goodness. You know, this is probably you know what? Hmm. I'm gonna release this in two parts then. So this is part one of the final episode where we are sieging down France, and the second part of this episode, why do I have soldiers up here still? The second part of this will be the peace deal. Because I want to see how badly France is being dismantled, but this video is going on long enough. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow as we will firmly destroy. France. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.